Android already handles multitasking fairly well so it knows when to kill certain apps that are taking up too much resources. But there are occasions when you want to target specific apps to keep them from running in the background and that's where Advanced Task Manager comes in. Uh, when you log into the app you're going to get several options when you click an app. It's an easy way to switch to something, you can end a task or you can do what's called an exclusion. That way it'll never uh, kill that app unless you change your mind. So let's say you have an app like Astrid which needs to run in the background to auto update. You want to add that to excluded list. So when I have the little red X next to it that means it won't kill that particular app. So now when I press end all it's going to shut everything down except for the apps that have been excluded. Now when I go back to it you see all these apps have been closed. These are the apps that are now running in the background. Uh, you want, you're going to want to exclude system apps like on the Xperia. You want to keep Timescape open, keep the digital clock open. Aside from that, it has, it's an easy way to install and uninstall apps. You have, when you click the active view, I mean the all apps view, you can see basically everything you have installed on the phone. You can check the system to browse your, your apps. And if you can go if you're going to uninstall, you can just click the uninstall tab and specifically target. All you have to do is click something and it uninstall it for you. Let's say I want to uninstall App Bundle, I click it, and it automatically brings it up for me. Now it's gone. It's a great app. There's two versions. There's the one I'm using right now, which is the ad supported version, or there's the free version and the the 99 cent version, which gets rid of ads, and it's a great way to support a developer. It's called Advanced Task Manager Pro or the free version and it's a great app.